Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tasca SAP Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 15 lessons covering different topics related to SAP automation by using Tricentis Tasca. So from previous lesson, we started working on two new sections called execution lists and requirements lists. So in this lesson, I'm going to start teaching you about the requirements section. This is our lesson 16, where you will learn how can you create the requirements and then how can you provide the weightage of each requirement and how can you link the test cases and the execution lists for your requirements. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. So what is our lesson agenda item? Here in this lesson, you learn how can you create requirement sets and then how can you create requirements under requirement sets and how can you define frequency class and damage class to calculate weightage of each requirement and how can you link test cases to your requirement and how can you link execution list to your requirements. So first of all, the requirement section of Tasca provides a dashboard for simple and effective test management. It is used to planning test processes, monitor the progress and risk coverage optimization. So by weighting our requirements, in other words, specifying level of risk and importance to all aspects to all aspects of our project we can make sure that we are taking a risk based approach for testing your requirements so this allows to lower the risk for releasing the application to the production so the weight of each requirement is calculated based on two values one is frequency class and the other one is damage class the frequency class what do you mean by frequency class how often each requirement is expected to be used that is your frequency class and then damage class so the degree of financial risk associated with each requirement that is called damage class so now let us go to Tricentistoska and then let us create requirements and let us calculate the weightage by providing frequency class and damage class for the requirements so that you will understand what is the concept of this weightage of your the requirement. And then we also gonna see how can you link your test cases to requirements, how can you link execution list to your requirement and how can you trace or how can you create your traceability matrix in requirement section of Tricentis Tosca for analyzing the coverage of your SAP test case automation. So till now we worked on blue section of test cases and green section of execution. Now we are going to work on requirements section. So the requirements are arranged in requirements folder and then under requirement folder you can create requirement set okay let me create a new requirement folder called sap automation okay under this particular requirement folder i'm going to create a requirement set and then I'm going to name this requirement set as SAP V Automate again. Under requirement set, let me create five different requirements. So 
So within the first requirement, I'm going to create two sub requirements. So now we created two sub requirements for one of the high level requirement. Let us calculate the weightage or let us provide the frequency class and the damage class for each requirement. First, let us provide frequency class and damage class for the high level requirements. So for my first requirement, I'm going to put as 4 as frequency class, 5 as my damage class. So that means either you can provide in the scale of 1 to 10 or you can provide in the scale of 1 to 5. As of now, I'm providing in the scale of 1 to 5. Okay. So once that is done, now I'm going to provide frequency class for sub requirements for the first requirement. Okay. This is 2 frequency class and here 3 damage class. And this one is 4 frequency class, then 5 as my damage class. Okay, so I'm done. So now you have a requirement weightage for each requirement. So the requirement weightage for the last requirement is very high. That means the risk is very high. And the requirement weightage for this requirement is very less. Means the risk is less. So now Let's simply bring this requirements tab to the right side. Now let us link our test cases to the requirements that we created right now. What I'm going to do, order to cache, I'm going to simply drag entire folder onto order to cache requirement. I can drop here. Now you can see my entire the coverage specified for this requirement is 100% because all my test cases are mapped for this particular requirement right and also i need to map the execution list to the requirement so this is my execution list order to cache which i created drag this and drop on to your requirement set called SAP GUI automation. Now you can see here, because we already executed these test cases, now you can see the percentage execution state for this order to cache requirement. My coverage is 100%, but however, 80% of test cases passed. 20% of test cases failed and for this entire requirement set coverage is only 22% because only one requirement has the test case and you can see execution state 18% is passed 4% is failed and 78% we have not executed at all right so this way you can link all your test cases and your execution list to the requirements and you can provide frequency class damage class for each requirement so that the weightage will be calculated automatically for every requirement and this way you can do your risk based testing for example if you want to perform risk based testing i'm going to execute all the test cases related to my important requirement which is my last requirement which has a weightage of 1024 and this particular requirement set should have the execution state as 100 percent then only i can provide sign off so how easy it is to maintain the requirements and to maintain the traceability for your requirements so now you understand how can we create models holding technical information of your system under test and then how can we feed these technical information to create test case models by using model based approach and also 
how can we create execution list and how can you link these test cases to your execution list and also we learned about how can you manage your requirements and how can you link these requirements to test cases and execution lists and how can you perform risk based testing by using the requirements dashboard where you can analyze the frequency class damage class and then you can analyze the weightage of your requirement this way you can perform your risk based testing hope you all understand the concepts of creation of requirement sets and how can you create requirements under requirement sets and how to define frequency class damage class to calculate the weightage of the requirements and how can we link test cases to requirements and how can you link execution list to requirements so that you can understand the status of your project and what is the risk involved in your project please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you